So we're going to perform the National Institutes of Health exam for stroke. This is a research tool um, that helps us grade the severity of stroke and it gives us a standardized way to assess patients over time so that from examiner to examiner uh, the exam we have a, a score that is graded the same way. This exam is not a diagnostic tool. Uh, it, it is mostly used to help us grade the severity of the stroke and to standardize our approach. The other thing is it is very sensitive for detecting anterior circulation strokes, so strokes in the MCA territories, but it is not very good at detecting some of the more subtle posterior circulation strokes. The NIH stroke scale booklets are available and that's kind of how we'll, we'll, we'll kind of use this to guide us through our way here. Uh, the first step is to test our level of consciousness of the patient. So how, how, awake are, how awake are they? Sometimes this can be, you know, if somebody's on sedation or things like that, you'll have to just grade it that. You'll have to grade it uh, within the scale on, on that setting. So hi, how are you doing today? You doing okay? All right. Um, so that, so a patient who's awake and talking to you is going to get a score of zero right there. Um, the first thing I'm gonna ask you is what month is it? It's March. All right, and uh, what is your uh, date of birth? 8378. And how old are you? 38. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to, to, to close your eyes and grip your left hand for me. All right, go ahead and open your eyes there and go ahead and relax. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assess gaze on this patient. So what I want you to do is follow my finger all the way over and then all the way over here. Okay, um, <clears throat> some patients will, be, will not be able to uh, cross the midline uh, if they have a large circulation stroke. Uh, so, and this is just a test in the horizontal direction. They don't ask you to uh, check the vertical gaze at all. You're also looking to make sure that the eyes are straight forward. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is uh, is a visual field testing. Okay, so I want you to take a look at my nose right here. You're going to be equidistant. Use your peripheral vision as a guide, and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two, one, three. All right, very good. All right, next thing I'm going to want have you do is I'm going to have you uh, give me a big, big smile. Show me all of your teeth, and we're seeing a symmetric smile there. Okay, very good. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to have you hold your arms up for me. Uh, as you notice in this, the NIH stroke scale stroke exam doesn't ask you to do the pronator drift, which is a more sensitive and specific method rather than this. So go ahead and hold your arms up. All right, very good. Go ahead and relax. Uh, and while you're doing this, you'll count to 10. Um, and if they can hold the limb up, then, then you're good to go. I'm gonna have you lift this leg up in the air for me and just hold it up there. Very good, go ahead and relax. And then we'll do the other one right over here. Good. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is hold your arms out for me. I want you to take this finger and touch the tip of your nose for me. And then do it with this finger over here. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check his sensory uh, function. Does this feel about the same on both sides right here? Yes. And does that feel the same here and here? Yes. Does this feel the same as this? Yes. And does this feel the same as this? Yes. Okay, that's, that's good. Next, we're going to test a uh, slight pinprick. The easiest thing at bedside is to break a cotton swab in half and just use this as the pinprick portion of the examination. Okay, you're going to feel something a little bit sharp. Does that feel the same on both sides? Yes. Does this feel the same on both sides? Yes. And does this feel the same on both sides? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, the next thing that we're going to see, the next thing we're going to test is, if, is, uh, is language. Within your book here, uh, you have several things that are going to help you test language. Um, you have one picture of the, of the mom and uh, of the mom and the kids getting cookies. Uh, you have a naming portion, uh, a reading portion, and then a repetition portion. Um, <clears throat> so I want you to repeat after me, mama. Mama. Tip top. Tip top. 50-50. 50-50. Thanks. Thanks. Huckleberry. Huckleberry. And baseball player. Baseball player. All right, the next part is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you read what's here in this book right here. Uh, just read those sentences to me. You know how, down to earth, I got home from work near the table in the dining room. They heard him speak on the radio last night. Okay, does your voice sound slurred at all to you? No. 
Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have him name the objects on this list right on this list right here. So I'm pointing to glove, key, chair, cactus, feather, hammock. All right. Very good. Okay. Now I want you to tell me what's going on in this picture right here. Uh, mom's doing dishes with a flooded sink. Uh, kids are trying to get cookies, and the boys get ready to fall off the stool. All right. Very good. The next portion of the exam is is going to test um, is going to test uh, extinction and inattention. So sometimes your patient will not you will walk into the room and you'll be able to tell that the patient's not paying attention to one side of the world or the other. So what I want you to do is close your eyes for me for one second, and then tell me what side I'm touching you on. Right. Left. And then offer bilateral stimulus. Both. Okay, very good. So if a patient has extinction, when you op they can they can sense they'll be able to sense when you touch them on both sides, but when you touch both at the same time, they won't pick up the side that has the stroke. Okay, so then you're going to do it in the lower extremities. Close your eyes. What side am I touching? Right. Left. Both. Okay. Um, the other thing we need to test is a taxi in the lower extremities. So what I want you to do is take your heel right here, put it right underneath, and run it up and down. Okay, very good. Switch legs for me. Okay, and that is that is a brief version of the NIH uh, stroke assessment. <laughs>